Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to bring images in and put them inside images so that you can manipulate them and make some cool designs. So let's get started. Well, I'm going to go ahead and bring in a random image uh, I think I have one in mind I was looking at some military ones here we go so I'm gonna come to the right panel this is my favorite thing to do open the trace panel click on it and again it's a little slice of bread a little slice of toast that's, that's what it reminds me of so click on select trace area go ahead and highlight it and I don't want this little back, I don't want this background, these yellow pieces. So I'm going to bring down the threshold until they disappear. Do a little bit more. I'm just going to trace it. I'm going to remove this and delete it. I want this to be a, like a flag. So one way you could do it is just grab the... I'm just going to pick this flag. I'm going to drag it over here. Well, that's one way to do that. And I'm going to get rid of that outline. Just select it. Come up here, make it black. And it, looks, it looks a lot better. Um, another thing you can do, let's say I wanted, uh, I wanted it to be camouflage. I should have made a copy. Always make a copy in case you need to, uh, in case you need to, uh, make any changes to avoid having to go back like I'm fixing to do. So, I'm just going to go ahead and make a copy. Bring that flag back just so that I can show you the two different things you can do. So, that's one. Another thing, I'm going to, I want this to be camouflage. So, I come up here to my images, um, I have it under camo. You can make these, um, these files, if you come up here to view, you can make it a large icon, or extra large, large, medium, whatever size you want, or you can make it uh, just, you know, like file type which it helps to do um, icons so that way you can find whatever you need faster so i'm going to go ahead and drag my image but another that's not what i wanted to show you but i'm going to go back let's say that i don't like this and i want only a certain part of this on here instead of looking like that so I'm gonna go back so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to I don't have enough room let me move it I'm gonna bring this is down here and I'm gonna expand this I'm gonna move this I really don't need that I'm bring this over here. I'm gonna shrink it just a little bit. I'm gonna turn this sideways. I'm gonna hold my shift down because that helps me line it up, straighten it up like that. Otherwise, if I don't, it'll do that. So if you hold shift, it helps you lock it in uh, straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and expand this, or enlarge it. <laughs> So let's say that I want more green than I do more of this uh, yellowish color. So what I would do is hold my shift key down again. Oh, I'm holding the wrong button. And so let's say I want to, remember I want less of this color. 
Oops, so you can enlarge it. See how only the top section is going to be that have some of this. I don't want to get rid of it completely. So you want to bring the soldiers to the front. Let me color this black or let's do this red so you can see what I'm talking about or what I'm trying to do. So you see that I don't have that much yellow. I don't want their heads to be yellow either, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this down a little bit. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit more. So now you see that. Now you see that uh, their heads are not going to be all this color. So the camo in the back, soldiers in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both. I'm going to come up to the right panel. And I'm going to look for the uh, open the modify panel. And I'm going to click on intersect. And that makes your soldiers camouflaged rather than having it the way I had it a few minutes ago. It was all, I didn't like it. So anyway, this, I like this better. And I'll bring them both up here. I want to make the outline black. These would go good on... Uh, I think I'm gonna put one on. Uh, I'm gonna put one on a mask. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this image. I might do both of these. I'm not sure. Let's try something here. Let me get rid of that mat. For this one, I'm gonna bring in that same, same camo that I just had and I'm gonna make it the background I'm gonna flip it around whoops don't let go of the key move to the back See how it looks. I don't know how that looks. What do y'all think? I know y'all can't answer me. I'm going to bring in the flag. So I guess it's going to be one or the other. Go to my flag. I want to see which one looks good. So I'm going to move that to the back. I can probably just shrink this. Whoops. I think I know what I'm going to do. I don't really like how this looks. Maybe you guys do. I do like the flag. This one I uh, don't like. So what I'm going to do. I wonder how this looks. Oh, that's cool. Kind of blend it in. I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to make this black. Put it right there. I think that'll look cool. Might have to enlarge it. So, anyway, so to not get off track, I uh, wanted to show you. I just got an idea of doing this. Sorry. So, I just wanted to show you how to bring in. Um, 
even if this was letters, it's the same process, same thing. You would do the same exact thing, even if you typed in, you know, G-I-N-A. You would do the same thing. I'll show you real quick. Bring in the... Let me minimize. Drag it in here. Undo. Let's do this one. Bring it in here. See, that looks cool. And then, you change the text or the font. It'll, it'll keep it. So, that looks cool. You can do, you can do whatever you want. Matter of fact, let me group this. I'm gonna keep this on my screen. It'll make it, make it my thumbnail. And I'm gonna put Gina over here. Doesn't look right. I'm gonna copy it. This is how I play around with the, my images to see how they look. change that looks pretty cool I like that I think I'm just gonna put that on the mask is Gina anyway you get the idea so I just wanted to show you how you can bring in images into another image um, the same way you would as if you were working with just letters or words so that's all I have right now. I hope that that this video taught you something. Um, I'm going to continue to find um, kind of basic stuff from Silhouette for beginners. So remember, if you have any videos that you want to see, please let me know. I'll be happy to look into it and uh, make videos for you. So in the meantime, this is all that I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time.